Here we're going to talk about the dictator game. Dictator game. Or DG. Now, the DG is a very, very simple game. Um, we talked previously about the ultimatum game, and in the ultimatum game we saw that one player is paired with another player, the first player makes an offer to the second player, and the second player can reject it. Now, the dictator game is um, similar here, but what we want to think about is that there are again going to be two people, so we're going to have um, person one, person A, um, A is called the sender or the proposer and then B is the person they are paired with and they are the receiver. Now in this game what can then happen is that the sender is given some endowment, so previously we said that they would have some endowment, say Y, and then they can give some amount that they send to person B, which is S. And so what then happens is if they send some amount S, we see that um, A sends an amount S to B. Okay? That leaves person A with the amount Y minus S. B cannot respond. This is why it's called the dictator game. Um, a dictates what B gets. Okay, the sender dictates what the receiver receives. There is no response by person B. A simply gives some amount to B. Now, in certain situations, B, um, or in most iterations of this game, B is another person. Okay, B is another person with whom A is interacting. Typically, it's anonymous. Um, I don't know any characteristics about B. In certain other situations, characteristics about B, such as their ethnicity or their gender, might be revealed. And then we can compare different situations in which A and B are of different ethnicities or different genders, or the same ethnicity and the same gender. Um, alternatively, what can also happen sometimes is that um, B is not a person, but B is a charity, in which case we're trying to understand charitable giving to a cause um, rather than um, giving to another person. In both of these situations, it's said that um, the dictator game is trying to measure some idea of altruism, some idea of what A is willing to incur a cost in order to give person B. Um, at the same time, um, sometimes people criticize this as being a little bit manufactured, as it's um, quite transparent that in most situations, people do not just get um, windfall amounts of money, such as, say, $20, where they are then asked to just give some amount to another person. Um, in order to understand this, some other people have done dictator games where person A has to do a task to earn their money, and then once they've earned their money, they're then given the opportunity to give some of that earned money from um, a task that they've had to do, such as um, stuffing letters or um, uh, maybe doing um, some mathematical problems. Um, from those different tasks, they're asked, how much would you like to give to person B um, when B has not done those tasks? Um, and so that gives us a different measure about how people would behave. In many situations, what we see is that in the case where people do not earn their money, what happens then is that people tend to give somewhere between 25 and 35% of what they start off with. So for example, if A started off with $20, they might give somewhere between $5 and $7 to player B. This is where the, the money that they earned was windfall cash, where they were just given it by the experimenter, they did not have to earn it. In other circumstances, what they see is that um, where A has to earn the money that they receive before giving it to B, then what happens is the amount that A gives to B is typically much lower, um, say somewhere in the region of anywhere from 0 to 10, 15%. Some people do still give. And so what we want to think about there is that people are willing to give some amount of money right, between player A to player B um, in order to understand um, in order to see that some people are willing to basically behave in a non-self-interested way with money that they either receive in a windfall way, just from the experimenter, or that they themselves earn um, from doing a specific task in the laboratory.